this past year in 2013. It's a remarkable set of accomplishments on the grassroots level. But I'd like to bring up the first award winner for tonight, Richard Becker. Yeah. For yeah. Richard Becker is the Western Regional Coordinator of ANSWER, which is a member um, organization of the SF 99% Coalition. He's also the author of the book, Palestine, Israel, and the U.S. Empire. His historical knowledge, dry wit, and calm current common sense make him a great guy to have in meetings when the discussion gets intense. Last August and September, he helped organize San Francisco Says No to U.S. war on Syria, rallies, and other events. SF 99% was at every one of them, and proud to be there. And um, his organizing is an important part of the pushback that stopped the next war now. We, in this country, stopped a U.S. war on Syria. So Richard, San Francisco 99% Coalition recognizes and honors you for your leadership, activism, and commitment to a more just society by working to end the wars. Uh, your demonstrations and educational events relating to U.S. military action and your presentations of the history of the Israeli occupation of Palestine, among many other things that you have done, are the reason you're receiving this award. Thank you so much. But I really want to thank the SF 99% Coalition and the activists, the core activists who have kept it together for all this time. Uh, and for the award tonight, which I accept not really individually, but as a representative of an organization of many activists. And I also want to thank the Unitarian <coughs> Universalist Center here for all that has contributed to the Bay Area. I think that there would be very little contradiction from the crowd here tonight. When I say that we live in a system that is completely out of control, when 85 people own as much wealth as the poorest 
1.5 billion. That is half the world's population. Yeah. When food, and this just happened again today, is taken out of the mouths of people who are hungry in order to give more to the monstrously bloated Pentagon. When 13-year-old Latino kids are shot down by sheriff's deputies in Santa Rosa, when half of the population of the richest country in the world is today officially <coughs> categorized by the government as either living in poverty or low income, and what's the difference? I mean, this is, uh, and, and you know, just to say something about the NSA, the NSA in its mission is, is, its mission is that it's a combat support agency under the Department of Defense. I think that's something to keep in mind when we think about what the SF-99% coalition and ANSA are fighting against it. Endless war, that's the real purpose of the NSA. It's an adjunct to the Pentagon, a key element of the Pentagon. And when we see, you know, the idea that tar sands and fracking are the answer to the energy problem, and when we see the prisons that have more people in them than any other country in the world, both in absolute numbers and relatively, you know that this is out of control. At the same time, over the last decade, we have seen the recurrent upsurges of the mass movement, which is really the only hope to change this. The, from 2002 to 2007, mass anti-war marches, uh, the immigrant rights marches, which were the biggest marches ever in US history in 2006, the many, many protests for LGBTQ rights and same-sex marriage rights, the movements against police brutality and against environmental destruction, and the Occupy movement that this coalition grew out of. And something much bigger than all of those is coming. It's coming because it must to save the world and the people of the world from a tiny handful who care about nothing more than more money and more power. Thank you. Thank you. At this point, I'd like to bring up Joe Nicholson. Joe Nicholson is an attorney in the Bay Area and a legal observer for the National Lawyers Guild. In 2013, he, he wasn't working 60 to 70 to hours himself. a week at his day job, and he still is. Uh, he's an active and outspoken member of the Civil Liberties Committee of the 99% Coalition at meetings and also in the media. He was on the committee that drafted the anti-NDAA resolution that the board, SF Board of Supervisors passed unanimously. Mm. He assisted Restore the Fourth Bay Area in drafting their own resolution targeting illegal surveillance and organized demonstrations and education about the first Unitarians of Los Angeles lawsuit against the NSA. And actually, that's how I met him from here uh, because of one of those events. Most recently, he represented the 99% Coalition in drafting and promoting an open letter to Senator Feinstein calling for her resignation as chair of the Senate Select Committee on the We, on behalf of uh, SF 99%, it's an honor to recognize Joe Nicholson, attorney, for his leadership, activism, and commitment to a more just society by providing legal analysis and public presentations on government disregard of our civil liberties through both the NDAA's unconditional, un un unconstitutional indefinite detention laws, as well as NSA's mass surveillance and for organizing opposition against these unjust practices and towards a society that will be better care for the people. Thank you so much, Joe. Thanks a lot, folks. Um, you know, if it wasn't for this event tonight, right now, I would be in somewhere in a hotel in Houston getting ready to take the position of a, of a Dow Chemical Company representative. Mike. And I'm very thankful that I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, you know, and I get to do a lot of things. I feel like I'm very lucky that in, in, in what I do during, during the day in my, in my career to sort of take on some of these big corporations that we sort of identify as part of the problem, if not most or all of it. And, uh, but, but it's not enough. And, and, and I, I don't feel like I needed to be here tonight to celebrate you know, with all of you all the offerings and all the activism that, that, that this whole community has, has done you know, in the past year and, and, and beyond that. Uh, you know, it's inspirational. I come to the SF99% originally just to learn, just to sort of see what else is out there, and just have been inspired by 
you know, everything that I've seen, and it's just humbling to be mentioned alongside Richard Becker and to be on stage with Janet and Vaid. I mean, people who I you know admire and respect so much, and and it's just humbling. Um, you know, one thing I really like about being on sort of the progressive side of things is that we that we lead with our heart. That that we just we we do the right thing. We know taking care. Of, I mean, look at the, what these goals are. I mean, that that tells you right there the priorities. And so it's. It's amazing to, to be considered, uh, you know, representative of taking care of the people, and um, you know, I think that just finding more and more outlets for this sort of just passion uh, is, is is something that you know we can all work towards. And you know, it was mentioned at the very beginning what the what the Unitarians represent, and and that is to me the, by far what blows me away the most is to be here and sort of this crowd particularly to be recognized. And it's, I said the same thing when I was here a few weeks ago giving a presentation in the, in the forum about Unitarians' lawsuit. And it's just an amazing you know, group of people that, that just are consistently you know, leading uh, you know, the fight for these values. Um, I want to mention that lawsuit uh, because it's coming up this year. It's one of the leading efforts by our society through the legal system to challenge uh, the NSA surveillance. And we're fortunate that it was filed in San Francisco. So several of us went to a hearing already in San Francisco, but that's when we'll be in Oakland. But it, it, it's, it's, it's reaffirming what was mentioned before about our right to associate. I mean, the, the values that we take for granted sometimes in this country are, are, not, are not guaranteed unless we do the things that we are all doing mm -hmm. to make sure that they exist and that they're real for us and for everybody. And we've. In this country, we've succeeded over generations in expanding and broadening that circle, and it seems like now that circle may be getting smaller and smaller. And it seems like day after day we hear about stories about you know liberties being taken away and, and, and diminishing. And I think that you know what Richard Becker said about something bigger is coming. I entirely agree with that, and I think it's got to do with the passion that you folks bring to these issues. And I'm just humbled to be a part of it. So thank you, thank you all, thank you. Thank you. Before I bring our next award winner up, I just wanted to say a few words quickly about some of the accomplishments of this coalition in 2013. In February, we were successful in having the San Francisco Board of Supervisors, which had stalled on this for quite a while, unanimously pass a resolution opposing the indefinite detention provisions of the National Defense Authorization Act, which have been signed into law two years in a row and remain on the books. San Francisco was the 18th and remains the largest city in the country to have said, no, we are not going to just wave our hands at the prospect of indefinite detention for US citizens, including possibly being arrested by U.S. military on U.S. soil mm. under any pretext of terrorism or anything else. So um, that, and I have to say, they were unable to get that across uh, the L.A. County Board of Supervisors, although maybe that will come to pass, too. Um, after Edward Snowden um, talked to Laura Poitras and Glenn Greenwald on June 6th, we sprang into action. And one of the things that we did was have uh, a forum on NSA spying and what we can do about it on August 18th. And that's where I met <laughs> Bahi. And um, 80 people attended that event. A number of, um, of projects and other things have come out of that meeting. And one of them was that Bahi set up his wonderful uh, organization ethics in tech which is doing a series of events so um, and the other thing I wanted to say about our work for civil liberties is as Joe said this is a continuing struggle and we do see the very sinister development of the uh, indefinite detention provisions with the NSA bulk spying you see how those two are interactive because what are they going to nail people on? The, you know, if we don't stop them, the material that's 
uh, being sucked up from our computers and phones every day. We are going to stop them, folks, and we are also going to stop fracking in this state. Yes, we are. The environmental challenges that California faces are huge, and so we are so fortunate to have people with huge hearts and great minds like Ruthie Sackheim. series every Monday evening at Global Exchange that explores the links between corporations and the degradation of the planet and our democracy. She is also an activist organizing with the Occupy SF Environmental Justice Working Group. How great does that sound? <laughs> they work with other grassroots and national organizations on issues such as the Chevron Richmond Bell, challenging the EPA in the Kettleman City pollution struggles, opposing fracking, nuclear power, Monsanto, and more. Most recently, she has joined the Pittsburgh community's effort to stop fossil fuel infrastructure development in the North Bay. Ruthie is married to Mark Kitchell and was a writer and co-producer of the film a Fierce Green Fire, The Battle for a Living Planet, which Jerry Mander also appeared in. She's the mother of three girls and a preschool teacher. Please join me in welcoming Ruthie Sackheim. for her leadership, activism, and commitment to a more just society to protect the environment through her excellent presentations and efforts to educate and involve the public, uh, and many other things I'm sure that you do, Ruthie, so thank you so much. A little while back, I happened to use a coffee mug with a message on the side. It said, there are three kinds of people in this world. Those who watch things happen, those who make things happen, and those who wonder what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank the Occupy movement for taking some people who wondered what happened and turning us into people who make things happen. Here's a quick description of Occupy Forum and the, the San Occupy San Francisco Environmental Justice Working Group. Occupy Forum has become a large affinity group, one of the longest running Occupy groups in San Francisco. We meet every Monday night at Global Exchange to generate ideas and join actions on Occupy's key issues. We study other movements, the anti-apartheid movement, anti-nuclear movement, the civil rights movement, and movement theory, like the Movement Action Plan, Democracy School, and the Peace Warriors on Civil Disobedience, to understand how they prepare to win against formidable opposition. We welcome everyone to join in discussion and actions to bring power back to the people. Occupy San Francisco Environmental Justice Working Group began as a small group focused on educating the public about fracking in California and connecting the dots between big oil and its lack of regulation by the government and the banks and billionaires that finance these fossil fuel projects. We soon joined groups like Green Action, the San Francisco Environmental Justice Group working for the health and safety of fence line communities, and No Nukes Action to shut down nuclear power and stand in solidarity with the people of Fukushima to support each other's campaigns. Other allies are 350 San Francisco, the Center for Biological Diversity, International Forum on Globalization, the Sierra Club, Global Exchange, Sunflower Alliance, Occupy Oakland, the Occupy San Francisco Action Council, and many more. We have had actions and continue to have actions at Wells Fargo, B of A, Chevron, the American Gas Association, PG&E, the EPA, and show up at court to stop dirty energy wherever we can. We're fighting the Westpac fossil fuel infrastructure development in Pittsburgh and the North Bay, coalitioning on Stop the TPP actions, and continuing to motivate, mobilize, and participate in furthering